death of an endangered horse is increasing scrutiny at the National Zoo. It comes at a time as a new report raises serious questions about the safety of animals in the care of the zoo. Greta Cruz is at the zoo tonight with more on what's being done about this. Greta. Well, Gordon, certainly more on welcome news for the zoo, which has been on the defensive all week, but today it said it's making some changes. The National Zoo says a four-month-old Chevalsky's colt on the left in this photo died yesterday at the Zoo's Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia. The fence was bowed out, if you will, and based on the initial necropsy report that he has a broken neck, it's pretty obvious that he ran into that fence. It was just an accident? A, an accident. This latest animal death comes as an internal task force released the results of its probe into multiple animal deaths, injuries, and escapes over the past year in the zoo's cheetah conservation station. The investigation triggered by concerns of a volunteer who emailed the director. The report found that animal care and overall organization, accountability, follow-up, and communication are severely lacking in the CCS area. This is difficult, but this kind of discussion allows us to get to the root of any problems that we might have. Recommendations included improving or fixing animal enclosures, making sure incompatible animals don't mix, and restoring a biologist position. This was done last month. Zoo management has argued money's tight but admission is still free. Would you pay to come here? Absolutely. Absolutely. If it became very expensive, it would definitely keep me from coming as often. And more to come tomorrow. The zoo is scheduled to release its report on that zebra attack last month against a veteran zookeeper. That man was seriously hurt, and a rare gazelle died when it ran into a wall while he was apparently spooked. Live at the National Zoo, Greta Cruz, ABC 7 News.